Yeah, so the thing here is we want to be picking somewhere not too far from a city uh, next to water and that should do nicely because we can see that there's a city sort of just where my mouse is there. Um, we'll call it Vets for today given that's the name of the YouTube channel and get that up and running. So now we have our city, we can see we have uh, the river down this side and down this side. So we've got a river on two sides, which is good because then we don't have to worry about water too much. So the first thing we're going to do, we've got $25,000 to start. I want to sell some of these ponds because these ponds are not quite as relevant uh, anymore. Uh, they're not always in the most useful places as well. So I'm going to look to get rid of some of these ponds and cash them in because we get $5,000 for each one that we sell. So you can see there we are, we've got rid of that. Um, what we're looking to do is basically get the game up and running to a good level as quickly as we possibly can. So I'll just get rid of all three of those, gives us a few funds. You can see we've got the farmer, he's going collecting the wheat there and he's going to take that, put it in the silo. The silo can hold 20 wheat. We can see we've got 12 wheat already. So if we were going to sell that, it shouldn't take too long to get to the city from where we are. It only takes a minute. If you upgrade to Gala Gold and get the Express NFT, then uh, that will shorten this time. I think it's by a third. So, you know, you probably do that in 40 seconds rather than a minute. So Gala Gold is a one-off fee of $50. Obviously, your Ethereum fees on top, but that will get you an NFT, and that will actually get you earning each day as well from the beginning, and it and it makes things quicker. So you know, I do highly recommend that. The other bonus is, if you do have the Express NFT, you can remove that that depot there, the little van that's ready to take goods to market, and you will get some extra cash to use straight away. Anyway, I'm doing a bit of talking here, so what I'll do is, it, this video should be able, just for you to essentially click and follow what I'm doing. So we've got this road coming across where these walking down now. I'm going to look to extend this down here to the river. Uh, down at the river, I would like to have some sheep. I would like to farm some sheep. Um, and where this pond is, we can get rid of these ponds. These are marshes around it. Uh, next to the marshes we can put some uh, wheat fields and the wheat fields if you put a wheat field somewhere where there wasn't any grass then you would then need to um, you would then need to water the grass like he's doing now with the wheat field if you see that he's just watered that which he's took water from the well uh, however if you put certain things near the river the river actually uh, adds sort of water a few squares in so it means that you don't need to, to do that which is great so let's get these let's get these ponds sold let's get all this extra lovely cash in the bank because all the people you have on the screen they all cost money so the, the express depot we cost $20 a minute and the farmer costs $10 a minute and the uh, builder costs $20 a minute so we're not really using the builder at the minute uh, I would like to <laughs> uh, we can see we've got lots of trees because we're in a forest uh, and we've got a woodshed there which only holds 10 so I'm going to get the builder to use some of that wood to build some buildings for us uh, then after that we will look to uh, get some uh, get a lumberjack and he will start chopping down trees so we've got a ready supply of wood also anyway let's uh, let's start building some roads let's get go into the terrain build the road I'm going to look to build one there. Roads are nice and cheap. And so the sheep pen costs forty thousand dollars, quite a lot. And we need three wood for that. I'm not sure if it needs to be near a uh, road, can't quite remember. Anyway, I'll just pop the sheep pen down, I'll try to. Yeah, that's no, fine. I can pop that down. What I've done is I've put that in a line with this sort of road, which there should be a road coming through here later, hopefully. 
So I'm now going to pop some wheat around here, around this marsh, because this won't need watering. So what I'm looking to do is create wool. Wool is a great, uh, it's often known as like a wool rush, uh, you know, rushing to get wool done. Wool is a great way of getting started in the game. Um, and to get wool, you need to grow some wheat. Um, once you've got the wheat, you can create some feed, which you can then feed the sheep. And then your rancher will then shear the sheep and you get the wool. And once you've got wool, you can take it to market and you make lots of uh, lots of cash. And it, if you're trying to do the daily challenge, such as I've done earlier today, it allows you to do the daily challenge pretty much in one hit, so really quickly. So let's get those wheat fields on the go there. Fantastic. We will get our... Where's our lumberjack? We'll get our lumberjack on the go there. Lumberjack doesn't require any wood to build his house. So he will now do his thing. What I'll do is I'll get another builder on the go just to speed some of these things up. It's under industrial. So we'll get another builder there. Again, doesn't require any wood, but it just makes life easy for us because that builder then, she's going to go and get the wood from the wood from the woodshed uh, and then take it to wherever it needs building. So this one here, which is going slowly at the minute, going to going to take one wood and then the other lady she's going to bring two wood down to us um, so let us just look at getting some more wheat uh, in and around so I'm going to put it in and around these marshes again because then we don't have to worry about watering them which is good Just put it amongst here. I think all of these should be fine. Shouldn't need watering. I'm delete that one. Okay, and let's get another farmer on the go. The sheep pen's ready. What I'll do is I'll rotate it so it's facing, you can see there there's a little sheep. I'll rotate it so it's facing forward. They're going off, there's no feed at the minute, but they're going off to uh, feed on these pastures which are here. So that's actually feed. They'll go and eat some of that, which will fatten them up. Let's get some more wheat on the go. The silo is now full, so you'll see that this wheat explodes. So what I'm gonna do is sell some of this wheat which will send it off to the city and I'm now going to create this road down here so we can move around a little faster this is all we're doing a bit by bit we're sort of building as we go So what I'd like to have is for the the wheat, the wheat has to go to a silo, so there's quite a bit of a distance at the minute. In the future I'll probably look to move that silo over here, just need to check how much a silo is. 10,000, yeah, so that's, you know, not for now. Um, we also need a trough. So things we're going to need are a feed mill and a trough because once you've made the feed that then has to go into the trough and you also need a rancher. So let us let us get our rancher. The truck's come back. I can collect that cash now by clicking the truck. You can see the dollars above it. So I'm going to build a ranch house. Which is great. I'm then going to look to build uh, a trough. And I'm running out of cash a little bit, so I'm going to go and sell some more of these ponds. So my personal preference, because when I play, is I just like to sort of get up and running 
get it as self-sustainable as possible as quickly as possible as, sorry yeah get it as self sustainable as quickly as possible and I do that via basically trying to start with a forest somewhere with ponds and then selling the ponds off so we've now got the trough I'll just I'll just rotate that just for myself we've now got our rancher uh, rancher doesn't have anything to do at the minute but if I now create a feed mill like so the rancher will now pop out hopefully um, and take some feed and pop it in the feed mill so we're just waiting for the feed mill to be constructed I could probably do with a couple more farmers at this point Maybe another rancher too. Once you've got things up and running a little bit more, you'll kind of get a you'll get a feel for whether you're in the right ballpark with the number of things that you have, i.e., the number of ranches that you have or feed mills that you have. You'll get a feel for whether you're, you're sort of in the right area with all of that, um, because if you're if you have too many farmers, then your farmers will be in the house and they will be asleep. There will be zeds coming out of the top of the roof. If you have too many ranches and they're not having enough work to do, same thing applies. So just keep an eye as you're building slowly. You just keep an eye on the actual houses, whether they're asleep or whether they're actually up to something. So for the time being, we should be all right. Once this second feed mill's done, we should be okay. So that rancher now, if I can zoom in, she's taken that feed, added the feed to the trough. One of the sheep come out um, and eat that, which is lovely. Once, there's a lot of things involved. So uh, what you need, let's get that second feed mill done. So just to be clear, for the wool, what we need is we need some wheat. Once we have some wheat, that is harvested by a farmer. Uh, the farmer takes it to a silo. A rancher will take that from the silo and pop the wheat into a feed mill to create feed. The feed, another, the rancher will then take the, the made feed from uh, the feed mill and pop it into a trough. The sheep will then come out of the of their pen and come and eat the feed. And then once the sheep have had enough of their water, enough of their wood, they require some wood for some reason, enough of their feed, then the wool will be created. Um, and then the wool can be taken and sold at, in sort of in town. So at the minute I can sell some more, I've got some more wheat that I can sell, so I'm gonna send some of that off. You don't get much for this, but you know, it all adds up. If I look at the daily challenge, you know, I've got one 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 eighty, uh, probably be one one ninety. For you know, get an extra ten stars for selling the the wool. Okay, so just need to sort of let this do its thing for a little bit, really. Um, I'm probably going to look at to introduce. Maybe another feed mill, maybe some more, let's get some more wheat on the go and then essentially the more wheat we can get produced, the more we can get turned into feed, the more wool we're going to have. You can see there's quite a lot of wheat on the go now, so another farmer wouldn't go amiss. And I'm going to get another feed mill in there too. The roads don't cost too much, so I do like to sort of introduce 
roads as they go. Let's get another rancher on there as well. So everything's ticking over nicely. I mean, the, the reason why you want to look at increasing your profits sooner rather than later is because you start off and you see in the top left, we've got 38 sort of barrels of petrol or, or canisters of petrol. So that means, sorry, you start off with 40. That means you can make 40 trips to the city to sell goods and, you know, make money from the wheat, for example, that you're selling. Um, once that's gone, you can't make any more trips. So you're a bit knackered. Uh, so what you actually, you know, need to be thinking about is how can I make gasoline? So to make gasoline, you... Uh, need to build a couple of things and to do that you then need to be thinking about oh I need an oil you know I need a pump and I need a refinery for example so if I were to I'm just going to click these to bring these buildings online and if I were to let me just click somewhere else if I open up for industrial so to get a to get our make our own gasoline we need to we need some oil for the gasoline so we'd have to do the oil pump uh, fairly cheap to do which is good uh, so we need it we need the oil pump we then also need the refinery which is 15,000 but we have to put it near a paved road which I think is 10,000 for the paved road and you may need some water as well to make that so you would also need a water facility and you probably need a warehouse to store the water, etc. So all in all, it costs a few quid. So that's ticking along nicely now. The only two that are sleeping are the builders, which is fine and is perfectly, perfectly normal. I'm just gonna sell some more wheat. Because again, that is a maximum storage of uh, 20 in there you can see I've got one wool now when I've got 10 wools I'll get $45,500 at market for them uh, as opposed to only 3,000 for selling the 10 wheat so you do have to sell in batches of 10 so 10 wheat gets me $3,000 10 wool will get me um, $45,500 so you know quite quite the difference but it's ticking along quite nicely at the minute and I can probably you know look to add another farmer perhaps so let's look to let's look to do that in fact I'll just extend this road a little bit now all these pesky trees are in the way but to get rid of them is $15,000 to get rid of a marsh is five thousand dollars. To get rid of these rocks is forty thousand dollars. So uh, I just try to chip away or to get the paths a bit closer, you know, as and when I can. Uh, let's try and stick another farmer on here. Um, just thinking of the best place because this will all get rejigged later on anyway. But we've got plenty of wheat on the go. So yeah, a farmer, a farmer is certainly of use, and I'll probably get another rancher or two as well. I'll probably look to put a road through here at some point because you can see I've got quite a clear line there. You know, two nice clear spaces, only one tree in the way, and then the rest of it is a clear line. That's to get over to the other river because then we can build things down here later on you know perhaps this corner could be for refining the oil for example this this could be our sort of toxic corner you know we could have our oil pump and our oil refinery etc uh, so i'll probably look to do a road down here so i'll, I'll preempt that by putting a, a road here 
In fact, maybe one square further along, just there. The reason I've done that is I want to keep a distance between the wheat that we're growing and uh, any houses, because houses can affect crops if you put them next to the crops. It's going to take a little while for the builder, poor builders, to get over there. But this is ticking along quite nicely now. You know, the wheat's filling up. Um, we keep getting plenty of wheat to to sell. Uh, the little fat sheep, how are they doing? Yeah, we're just waiting for them to uh, get fed some more. So, might create some more feed mills, depending on how these are doing. I think I need some more ranches on the on the job, to be honest, to get the uh, to get the wood and the the wheat from the silo. So over here, there's a bit of barren land around here. If I pop a little road here, so what I look is I look for a space where I can put a road like so, and then around the road I've got three clear spaces there where I can pop whatever I may require. So I'm going to put another rancher down. I'm going to get another farmer on the go, and we're going to really ramp this up now. Probably look to get another. Oh, the silo's full. I want to get that wheat sold. Probably get some more. Get some more road through here just to sort of expand. Like I say, I like to do little bits of road just bit by bit. Because they walk faster when they're on road. So just you see how they sort of speed up. Just speeds it up a little bit. And I'm gonna keep these get another feed mill on the go. Because the more feed we can get into these troughs, well trough uh, only one trough at the moment, but the more feed mill we can get into the trough, uh, the faster the sheep will get fat and create the wool. So we've already got two bits of wool. It's currently on the way to creating the third bit. Once we've got the first batch of 10 and sell that, I'll probably look to, you know, be looking to get another sheep pen. Although it would probably take me another, another round of 10. So the first bit now gets a little bit tiresome. Um, but you'll see I've now got another farm, another rancher on the go and everything should start speeding up. Now the feed mill is full, so I'm just waiting for a rancher to come and collect this wool. Otherwise this feed's gonna explode, which is frustrating. I'm gonna sell some wheat. You can see the rancher there is taking the the wool to the storehouse which is up here and you can see that the sheep are going out and eating the feed so we're about 24 minutes in now I think at this point um, yeah everything's going fine I mean I've sold all the ponds if we have a look around we can see the lumberjack just one lumberjack you can see how many trees is cleared uh, so you don't need to go mad on the lumberjacks, that's for sure. We can see that the only buildings that are sleeping are the builder houses still. So that means we're okay for the uh, the, the farmers and the ranchers. Um, we can actually then look to add more wheat fields. So I know if I put wheat fields down here, then they're not going to need any watering because they're next to the river. Even if these this marshland wasn't there, you still wouldn't need to. Uh, the truck's coming again. So 
I can maybe get some more wheat on the go. I'm just keeping an eye on this, all this wheat here at the minute, you know, to see before I put more wheat in, I'm just checking how it's, I'm just looking at how much of it's being harvested. And at the minute, I'd say we've got the right number of farmers. So you can see they're all, all these will be harvested and all going back to the silo in a second. So that seems about, about right. Um, ranchers wise, maybe we could do with another rancher or two. Um, maybe another rancher, I think. So let's pop a, let's pop a rancher on there. So again, poor builders got to go all the way across. <laughs> I'll put a, a road on there just to make it slightly quicker. If you want to save a bit of extra cash, you don't have to do these roads like I just did there. Um, you could have, you know, just you can leave that if you wish, because at, at the end of the day, they're going to get there as well. I just do it to hopefully sort of speed it up. So you can see the builder once they get onto this road, they will speed up. So I know it's only tiny little bits, but it does help it go a little bit quicker. I got five thousand dollars left at the moment, and um, we've got. Oh, I'll set our rancher to work. And yeah, you'll see that the the sheep pen is going to be sort of churning out another wool in a minute. Because uh, yeah, once this little fat sheep comes back, that'll be the, the, the shearing wool is underway, which takes a minute. And then the process starts again. So now they're feeding up the feed mills. Someone's going to come and collect the feed and take it to the trough. And hopefully by the time the trough's full, the sheep will have been sheared and we'll, that will be then taken to the storehouse and will be another step closer. So again, none of my sort of people are asleep apart from the builders. But I'll keep the builders because we do need builders. I can sell some more wheat at market. I've used six of the barrels of gasoline so far. The wood shed is full. I could sell some wood, um, but you don't get as much as you do for the wheat, so I prefer to sell the wheat. It does just mean that as this lumberjack is chopping trees down, when he comes back to a path, if if they don't have adequate storage when a, a lumberjack or whatever it is that somebody's carrying be it wheat if there's not adequate storage it will sort of explode because there's nowhere to put it so you'll see this tree explode in a minute not to worry these trees grow back magic trees some of them take a very long time the ones not near any houses or not near uh, any buildings roads etc take a bit longer the ones that are near water or the ones that uh, are sort of far away from stuff like you can see that's green that's indicating the speed, and that one's amber, and this one will be red, it takes a while. So as we start clearing the trees later on, we'll be getting rid of all these red ones, because we don't want to be waiting around, and we'll end up planting our own forests, ones which grow within 20-30 seconds, like I say, magic trees. Uh, we're now up to five wool, so we're halfway to being able to make our first sale of wool our little sheep are getting fat and there should be some more wool underway in a minute they keep feeding on these pastures which take a while to grow to regrow um, you can't get any money for selling these unfortunately so i just leave them they're not doing any harm at the minute you can build over them at some point if you wish but you know to begin with they're not doing any harm whatsoever so Quite happy to leave them on there. I'm just going to rotate that to put the feed mill closer to the road, um, if that makes sense. So hopefully if they're bringing the feed down here, there's slightly less distance for them to walk. Not sure how many micro sort of milliseconds that adds up to, but maybe it adds up to something. The feed mill the trough is full we're just waiting for we're waiting for the the wool to be ready and then for a rancher to get the wool so 
So once we've got, once we've got two sheep pen on the on the go, that makes life a lot easier, as you can imagine. I know I created this one earlier. I may get rid of it because we have to keep watering it, which I don't always see as a good use of time. Maybe we can put one on here because it's near the pond, and I think the pond gives more water per the surrounding squares. So I think a wheat one there wouldn't necessarily need watering. Um, although down here they definitely wouldn't. Maybe we'll do it down here. Let's get some more wheat on the go and delete one of those. Yeah, so that's got the green tick, which is what we're always looking for. I'm not going to get rid of this one just yet. I might as well let it have another harvest and then get a shot of it. So I'm going to look to say build a road over here. This across here, will, all the way across here, will probably be another, another road at some point. And then all the way across here, I'll probably do as a road at some point. So then these become grids, you know, and they can join them up in grid grid format. There could be blocks of four, blocks of sort of two by six. Um, let's get rid of that. It gives us $63 back as well. Our sheep are producing more wool. So soon we will be up to seven. Probably do with. Be nice to get another trough on the go. Be nice to get rid of all these marshes and things, but yeah, we don't have the we don't have the cash for that just yet. The only awkward thing about having the wheat here is it's it's so out of the way. Um, so let's just let's just be patient. I'm gonna sell some more wheat. Whenever I see the wheat getting over, sort of you know. 13, 14, it's a good time to sell. We're now up to seven wool. The sheep are feeding themselves up. The greedy little sods, they only need a couple more sheep. You watch him get fat, there you go, he's eating it. And uh, he's got fat sheep. And in they go. I think that's, that's that, yep. So we'll soon be up to eight wool. So there's a big cash influx coming very soon. And then once we get another sheep pen on the go, maybe another trough, plenty more feed mills, and we'll get some more wheat, etc. That's when things can start to get interesting for us. can see that there's a bit of wheat left over so I may create another wheat field and may create another farmer too I think I'll do another, another feed mill first gonna chance a piece of um, wheat field here because I think it may get enough water from the river it does it's not gonna grow very fast but it, you know it's gonna grow it's 
not an issue. I'm just going to throw some wheat in here out of the way. Because they'll be able to come down this path here and take it to the silo. Plenty of wheat on the go now. So, probably going to need some more farmers. I'll put a bit of road here. Just gives me the option. Again, this isn't forever. This will get changed as the game progresses. I'll then build some more farms, etc. Um, need to sell some wheat. There we are. So slowly but surely things are ramping up so I've got $319 at the minute in the top left here if we work down you can see there's $240 uh, that's what it costs per minute the minute is defined by this little sort of circular icon here and as it counts down one of the lights goes out once the light goes out that amount there which is all your workers wages gets deducted from your balance so in a couple of moments time once those two lights go out once one light goes out we will see 240 be deducted and we'll have 79 left there you go it's done it and it's flashing now uh, the reason i wanted to highlight that because it's flashing that's a warning to say you haven't got enough to cover the next minute so you better hurry up uh thankfully our bloke has come back with some cash and now we're okay. Uh, meanwhile, we're up to nine wool in storage. And um, we've got the tenth underway. So soon I will be able to sell that. And we'll be able to make some big books. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's 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 get this underway. I do get frustrated by all these random places of trees and stuff because I just love to be able to create all the roads and infrastructure but that's part of the fun really I guess um, it's only because I'm trying to earn town coin with my NFTs that I try and I like to do it as quickly as possible um, obviously if you get into it playing it just on the purely enjoyable basis which is an enjoyable game then that's absolutely fine too um, Right, the sheep. The wool is on the way to the storehouse. I can see there's the lady there walking up the, the road. So we're soon going to have 10 wool. And I'm going to send the truck off to market. So there we are. We now have 10 wool. So this is our first wool sale. Make sure I click the right one. $45,500. Rich, rich, rich. Off it goes. When it comes back, I'll have some, some decisions to make then. Um, ideally, I wish I hadn't placed that, that feed mill there. I'd love to have put another trough there, so I would have had two troughs sort of just in front of the sheep, because I'd have had the sheep pen down here, and then the two troughs in front. So it was a little bit, was a little bit slow there, but these trees in the way, and couldn't really afford to get, get rid of them, to be honest. Uh, to get rid of the trees, 15,000. I could get 1250 back from if I were to get rid of that feed mill. So it's thirteen seven fifty to get rid of that tree. Put another female in. That's eighteen seven fifty. Another troughs, another five. So that's twenty three fifty. That's just to reconfigure it a little bit. Uh, then I'd have to wait for another wool sale to then get another sheep pen. So you know, all in all, it takes a little while. I may what I may try and do is 
just well, what I may do is just take the cash immediately from from this and buy another sheet pen because that sheet pen will allow me to instantly uh, sort of take advantage of all this this uh, all this feed that's being created so you know we'll have two lots of wool on the go that's the idea so I think that's what we're going to look to do uh, where is the sheep pen? Uh, oh, I need to collect my cash first of all. Silly me. I'm putting it on this side because the trough's this side. Only reason why. Sheep pen. There we go. So the builders will finally come back to life. Hurrah. Paying them to sit around doing nothing. Um, I probably need another rancher. Which is what I did this this thing here for. I'm going to do another two ranches. And I may do another farmhouse there. Or maybe a farmhouse up here. Uh, now I'm going to sell some wheat. We've got some wheat ready to sell. But ultimately, I want to be ramping up this wool production because if you think about it, each time we sell one of send one of these trucks off to the market, that uses one of the the barrels of gasoline up. Um, that then uh, that's only bringing us back three thousand dollars from the wool. Uh, sorry, from the the wheat. But if we sell one wool, it's bringing back forty five thousand dollars. So effectively, I'd have to use 15 canisters of gasoline to bring back the same amount of money as I can from one can of gasoline for selling the right product, the right product being wool. So I, I don't want to sell too much wheat if I can help it. So... But just for this little interim bit, it does help to keep things ticking over, that's for sure. I'm just looking at the best path. So, you know, I'm already thinking ahead now to getting our petrol up and running to get, we'll make our gasoline so I'm thinking ahead for where I can place things so I'm looking at these roads potentially coming through and I want to put the some of the facilities near the water because then we don't have to uh, we don't have to then create water as much if we can have, have it next to next to these places so you know that does come in handy Oh, there's our sheep pen. We're up and running. Again, I'll rotate it so it's facing out towards the trough. And yeah, our sheep should be doing the business for us soon. We're up to one wool. We've got two pens on the go. This building's ready. Another rancher to join in the fun. I'd love to get rid of these two trees here now and also sort of look to start clearing this line of trees but it does cost quite a lot of money so we're just going to have to be patient it's a slow builder it is what it is so I'm just again checking that route so we've got a tree in the way but we've got potential for a path through here And we can look to get some oil, etc. This would probably be the best route. So we'd have to get rid of £15,000 for a tree and then two marshes, but then we're, we're pretty much clear. Uh, we'd be looking to get the gas. Again, we'd be looking, we might, 
it might be prudent to get a water pump which is 50,000 not you know that 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 comes later but you just think about where you want to place it uh, for later on but what we'd need initially is we'll probably look probably need a water facility because even though you need oil uh, you need water to make petroleum and then gasoline it has to be in in drums so you need to make water drums from a water facility uh, the water facility would be ideally placed near the river though because then that can supply it with water I do believe um, you need a warehouse to store the water drums so we're going to need a water facility a warehouse we're also going to need some wind turbines uh, to, to create energy um, we're also we're going to need a worker to do these and then we need the power plant as uh, sorry the refinery so there's a few things there a refinery water facility warehouse and wind turbines and a worker so there's like five constituent parts so you're looking at 50 60 70 thousand dollars to get all that up and running oh and the, and the oil pump as well <laughs> yeah the oil pump which is cheap which is fine uh, but we'll look to make a um yeah a, a toxic corner would be best but that can come later once we've got a bit of cash because we can't really afford to get rid of everything just yet let's see how our sheep are doing yeah we're just waiting for them them to do their thing like i say i mean it, it it's a bit of a slow start uh it, it, there's not much else we can do at this stage I'll just keep selling a bit of wheat once we get around this number for now because that can allow me to build a few new roads ideally I'll be putting all the let's say the toxic stuff in a corner just for my own personal preference on that but we may do it over here to begin with just to make it easy to to get through you know, to get a supply through even if the even if the road goes a bit crooked we can always delete them and straighten them up later on once we've got plenty of cash that we don't have to worry about all these things so again just a bit of forward planning what you want to think about is you know if I put a piece of road here for example um, I've got three spots all around it that I can pop buildings on or I can put uh, wind tur turbines on for example because wind turbines need to be near a road so I can put wind turbines that's three wind turbines for for energy they won't do great in terms of speed because they're near trees and then near one another uh, wind turbines as you can imagine are better if they're spaced out but you know that can be the sort of little wind turbine corner to get going and then need to think about where they're going to get stored because the, the batteries that they create need to be stored in a warehouse so ideally you want the warehouse to be not a million miles away from any facilities that you're creating um, so you know if you're you're over the warehouse to be a million miles away from where it's required so you want that energy to go into a warehouse and the warehouse to be next to for example the oil refinery because it's the oil refinery that's going to be creating it so you want everything to be very close together and again if I put a road there I've got one two three spots around it so I'm just creating these for later because that could be a warehouse that could be another wind turbine that could be another wind turbine you know and and then all those would then be feeding the warehouse for example so just doing these little cheap roads and then I'll need an oil pump unfortunately all these things need to be placed or I say all of them a lot of these things need to be placed next to a road but again I'm just thinking for the future uh, if I scroll down you'll see the oil pump must be placed near a road that creates crude oil the crude oil then gets stored in 
Um, I can't remember if the crude oil gets stored in the warehouse or whether no, the crude oil gets stored over in the fuel storage facility, silly me, which is there, which has a maximum of 40, which is uh, which is really decent actually, because by the time we get to that point, the gasoline will probably be down at 20, 18, perhaps. Um, in fact, let's just sell some more wheat. But yeah, just thinking ahead, because as soon as we've we can see that as I am at the moment, the wool production is ticking over nicely. You know, I don't really need to do anything other than leave the game running. And the farmers are doing harvesting the wheat, they're popping it in the silo, the ranchers are collecting the wheat and making the feed, and then the ranchers are putting the feed in the trough and the, the sheep are eating the, the feed and then they're creating wool and that's getting stored. So it's all working quite nicely at the minute. So in terms of the production of wool, we've, we've got that sorted. We seem to have the right number of ranchers, the right number of farmers. None of them are sleeping. So I could actually, again, perhaps try and add another rancher, add another farmer to see what happens. Hopefully they don't go to sleep. Uh, you know, these are options to us. And that side of things is done. So that's why I'm looking ahead now at creating the, the, the oil because once we've got enough cash once we've got the gasoline set up produced then then we're laughing so for the gasoline we will need water drums we will need crude oil and we will need energy and the energy will come from the wind pumps the crude oil will come from the oil pumps and the water drums will come from the water facility and we'll need warehouses to store these things in uh, yeah, and that's that's kind of where we are. So you know, I'd, I'd look to put the to begin with, put the water facility, maybe maybe around here. So we'll probably have to look at clearing these marshes, which will then allow us to put things next to it, like the water facility, because they need do need to be next to a road. As you can see, the water facility needs to be near a road. And then if we have the if that water drum isn't traveling very far going into a warehouse then maybe the warehouse is here and then we have the oil and then we have the, the refinery to make the gasoline here then they can pop and pick that up um, yeah you know it, it, it all works the only sort of big logistical problem from over here is that all of the to take the crude oil or to take the the petroleum or the gasoline there's a long route to travel over very slow land at the minute but as we get more money you know the roads will be built which will make it quicker and then when we've got even more money we can pave these roads and then they move even quicker again so we're just waiting for it to do its thing our little sheeps <laughs> our little sheeps um, are yeah just getting fat and I don't know why they need to be fattened to be shown, but uh, you know, fair enough. So they're ne nearly done. Just gonna sell another another batch of wheat. Might stick another farmer on the go, just for fun. And I'll also look, if I put a road here, I've got another one, two, three all around it. Again, I always I always do that just, it gives me options. Let's get another farmer on the go. I do think that the farmer won't fall asleep. You know, there's an argument I could go, okay, I'm not really using the builders very much, I could get rid of it. Uh, you get a quarter of the money back. If I get rid of that builder, I get a 625 back. So it cost me 2,500. Um, it, it's, it's, it's one of those, it, they cost $20 a minute to run the builder. So I'd effectively be losing, you know, well, what is that? Eight, eight, one eight seven five. I'd be losing, 
So divide 187.5 by the number of $20 a minute. It's actually quite a lot of minutes. Uh, so it kind of makes more sense to me just to keep them sat there being asleep and being lazy. Because <laughs> uh, I still have paid less. There's a little farmer. Hopefully he comes out to play. Yeah, like I say, the danger is if they don't come out to play, then that means that you've you've not you've got too many farmers. I think we're fine at the moment. Up to nine wool, which is good. That one's going to be ready in a second. That one's going to be ready to go in a minute as well. So yeah, it's all ticking along quite nicely. I'll probably look to get another sheep pen on the go because I just want to get this up and running. I mean, I'll probably get to the point of having four, five, possibly six sheep pens. Um, and you only need really one, possibly two troughs. You don't need to worry about the troughs. Feed mills, you certainly need more feed mills. The wool's going to be ready to go in a second, so we'll get ready to sell that. See, it's not. she's not quite dropped it off yet. Now she has. Off we go to the city. Right. I hope you're finding this useful. Um, if you have, please make sure you go to getgala.co.uk if you've not already signed up. Uh, that will take you straight through to the, the sign up page. Um, do consider Gala Gold. It's, it's well worth it in my opinion. You do get a free, well I say free, you know it's part of your membership, it's $50. You do get an NFT which you can use and then you can earn money, you can earn town coin from using that NFT. It's only one town coin per day, but also you could sell that NFT on a marketplace like OpenSea if you wish. Um, anyway, yeah, we're, we're, we're nearly an hour in. And we can see that the wool is coming back and there's some more wool going in there. So the wool production is really sort of motoring along quite nicely now. And again, it's all about having the right balance because if I put another sheep pen in, I just need to have check the the amount of sheep on the amount of feed on here and whether the feeds going along at the right pace so I'm just looking how long does it take to create the feed only four seconds or so so I'm gonna collect that cash I think I'm I will put another sheep pen in gives the builder something to do if nothing else And for that, I will probably need another rancher. I think we're okay for farmers. I'm going to sell some more wheat because the silo is getting full at the moment. But once we've got three sort of active sheep pens. I may need some more feed mills, but once we've got those on the go, we'll be in a much better position oh, in terms of sort of the game starting to speed up because before you know it, we'll have the 10 wool to sell and then it's 45,000, then another 45,000, etc., etc. I 
should be ready. That builder will go off to make the, the rancher's house. Right, so, got one more ready. Another one under, so this is the perfect scenario. So we've got one more being delivered. We've got one underway and then two more waiting to get fat and eat some feed. So I'll just get this other rancher on the go. So what I'm doing is I'm just keeping an eye on this sort of feed trough. Because what I want to see is that there's plenty of feed on the way. So the ranchers are collecting feed at the of collecting wheat at the moment to make the, the wheat anyway I think we'll call that the end of sort of part one as it were uh, I hope that's been useful so that's taken us from zero from a you know a scratch start there's no NFTs involved this is just playing the game as it was as it was intended uh, well not as it was intended because we <laughs> you intend to play with NFTs and make make some uh, town coin um, but this is just to show you how you can get started without NFTs. Um, you know, no fast tracking. This is this is how it is. But you can see in in an hour we've basically gone from zero and we've now got three sheep pens. We've got some wool being created now at a, a much better rate. And we're, what you'll see in part two is the profits will really start ramping up from there. So I'll wrap this up. Thanks for watching. Please do check out part two. And yeah, I'll see you on the next one. If you haven't already signed up, go to getgala.co.uk. That's getgala.co.uk. And yeah, you can get signed up from there. So all the best. Take care. See you on the next video.